Hey, what up folks, this is GK. By the end of this video, you will exactly know what are the things that you should focus and what are the things that are less relevant in 2024 if you want to make a successful career in DevOps this year. So this is not me saying, but based on a report that was published last year, Q4 2023, by a job portal called Cube Careers. So Cube Careers is nothing but like a monster.com or nokri.com, but specifically created for Kubernetes jobs based out of US. So they have picked around 293 jobs and they have done analysis on those jobs and they have come up with this report. So all these jobs had Kubernetes requirement and a clear salary range, of course, in US. And all these jobs are listed directly by the companies, not through any consultancies. So let's dive into these observations that can help you to specifically pick what you have to learn in 2024. So the first and key observation is all the jobs that were published in the Q4 had software engineer title. So if you had this misconception that Kubernetes is only for DevOps engineers or the platform engineers or SREs, based on this report, that is not true. Everybody should learn Kubernetes, whether you are a software developer or a you know, senior software engineer. So of all the jobs that were published in Q4 2023, 35% of these were software engineer positions that required Kubernetes experience. And next in popularity were platform engineers and site reliability engineers, roles with 11% and 9% and then followed by DevOps engineers. So if you are already a developer and would love to learn Kubernetes, then this is awesome news for you. Get the CK AD certification done this year and uh, that would be a good start. So second finding, companies are mostly interested in the senior and mid-level engineers for these Kubernetes positions. Of all the jobs published in Q4 2023, 60% were for senior level positions and mid-level positions considered to 21%. The third finding clearly helps you to understand whether the certifications are needed or not. So surprisingly, 91% of these job postings did not have any mention of certification, meaning that you are not required to have a Kubernetes certifications. If you can just show your Kubernetes experience and uh, you know if you can crack the interview, that is good enough. So only 8.9% of these job postings had a requirement for certification. And if the certifications were mentioned in the job postings, 40% of them had the AWS certifications and then followed by Azure, CKA and any Linux Foundation certifications. And then GCP and CCAT certifications were mentioned in 7% and 3%. So my take on this is that if you are a senior pro, already seasoned uh, Kubernetes experienced person, then you know uh, it makes no sense to have a certification because you're already having a hands-on experience and you can crack the interviews. But for those who are starting to learn Kubernetes, it's always easy to, it's always easy to prepare through certifications because it gives you structured learning, whether it is CKA or CKAD or you know Kubernetes certified uh, security specialist. So having certifications will only help you to get shortlisted, especially in the Indian market. Uh, my suggestion is have one certifications if you are have one certification at least if you are starting to learn Kubernetes in 2024. And the other finding, the most popular technologies that were mentioned for Kubernetes jobs obviously is Docker, and then next is Postgres and Kafka and Redis and all the other technologies. So this is quite obvious because Docker is needed if you are already looking for a Kubernetes person. And I'm sure like if you are learning Kubernetes, you must have already had some experience with Docker. Again, another common question that you usually ask me, which programming languages are most in demand for Kubernetes jobs? And this is not only for Kubernetes jobs, this makes sense for the DevOps jobs or in general, DevOps jobs that are published even in India or anywhere in the market. The number one job that was mentioned was Python. And then the second, Java, Go, JavaScript, and SQL. So if you ask me, my order would have been Python and Go. But since the jobs also had the software engineers and software developers as the main title, and that's the reason uh, probably Java came second. Now, which CI CD tools are most popular? If you are guessing this to be Jenkins, then my friends, you are guessing it completely wrong or, or you are probably misguided because the number one CI/CD tool that got mentioned in this, uh, in this report is GitLab. And then second, it is Jenkins and CircleCI. And fourth, it is GitHub Actions. And if my assessment is correct, I'm sure GitHub Actions will overtake probably CircleCI and Jenkins and it will come to the second place uh, probably by end of this year and then there'll be a tough competition between GitLab 
and GitHub Actions. That is my assessment. So now if you are looking to learn a CI CD tool, then obviously spend your time on GitLab or you can also spend time on GitHub Actions. So number seven, is GitOps actually needed or is GitOps experience actually needed? Not really needed. Only 7% mentioned that they need uh, GitOps experience. But even in the 7%, the most popular tool obviously is Argo CD. You must have heard these many YouTubers talk about Argo CD and it's a very important GitOps tool. So spend some time on Argo CD if you have, after you have completed the top things like learning Python and then, uh, you know, CK certifications and Kubernetes and all those things and then come to GitOps. So don't uh, start right away with uh, GitOps and Argo CD. So now eight, what configuration management tools are popular in Kubernetes jobs? Obviously the answer is Terraform. I'm sure you must have guessed this already. And then the second one is Ansible. So there are about 21 percentage of the jobs that were posted had configuration management requirement in those jobs. And uh, we've been talking this for quite some time. If you are into market in 2024, then uh, without Terraform and Kubernetes, it is very less likely that you can, even your resume will be shortlisted. So do learn Terraform. And then if you have time, spend time on Ansible because I see that there is very less requirement for Ansible in this whole Kubernetes ecosystem. So number nine, the most popular cloud that was mentioned in these jobs, no surprises here, obviously, it was AWS with 41.8 percentage. So 90% of the jobs that were published had revealed their infrastructure location, like which cloud they are primarily using. And that's why 41% of them had AWS as their preference at a distance, but still fighting for the second place were GCP and Azure. So yeah, AWS, if you want to learn Kubernetes on AWS, then obviously DZKS. And finally, the 10th one, what monitoring, logging and observability tools that were popular in the job descriptions. And no surprises here again, Prometheus came first and 22% of those jobs had the logging requirement. And second, Grafana and Datadog. So Datadog is more for enterprise version. So I uh, have used that in past and mostly corporate companies or big companies who can spend money would use Datadog. But if you, if you were to pick one tool, then obviously it is Prometheus. So start with Prometheus and that should be good enough for monitoring and observability perspective. So these are the things that you should focus in the year 2024. I'm sure you will agree with most of these things, even if you have done your own research or searched in LinkedIn and searched in other locations, you will find these are the most common things and most important things that they would ask. So don't focus your energy and spend time on the things that are not needed, such as, you know, a puppet or chef and other outdated stuff. So focus your time and effort on these things which are listed here based on the report. And I wish you all a very good luck with your DevOps journey in 2024. And do let me know in the comment section if you disagree with any of these things or if you want to add anything that would benefit others who are watching this video. Thank you all again. Take care. Bye.